It's training day. Thursday morning in West London, and dog behaviourist Stan Rawlinson is putting his daughter's dog Pip through basic training. Stan's pushing Pip to her physical and mental limits to see if she has what it takes to become a petting dog. Today, a Pip is coming to be put through her paces as a dog that goes round to hospices and old people's homes and hospitals. She hasn't qualified yet, so today is her qualifying day. It's training day. Good girl, come on. Stan commences the stress testing. Good girl. And now what I'm going to do, just very quickly, I'm going to go, little touch, little touch. No, nothing. Absolutely brilliant. I'm going to put my hand in the mouth. And that just gently. Ooh, no bite. We need to know that he's not going to react. He's not going to chase and bark at bikes. He's not going to react and bite a, a sudden touch or a hand. So it's important that he knows what is expected of him. She's a she, isn't she? She is. <laughs> it's training day! I must be off my head. For his next test, Stan needs to determine how Pip reacts around fast-moving vehicles. I've never seen him on a bike. <laughs> He's only had that bike about two weeks. Through. Woo! Wee! Yes. Yes, good dog. So far, Pip has proved she can remain virtually catatonic in the face of every danger, but Stan's about to put her nerves to the ultimate test. Not a movement. What's going on? No problems whatsoever. Well, I think she was an absolute superstar. I think she's going to make a fantastic dog to go around to see all the children and all the old people. What's that? Good. Take it. Yeah. That cheese stinks. <laughs> That's the stinkiest cheese. I know. But I always have the stinkiest cheese. Yeah, you do. <laughs>